My name is Cami, and today we're gonna dive deep into how to play a praise break on drums. Let's dive into it. Today, we are gonna talk about how to effectively play a shout beat in church. This is Lacey Comer playing a shout beat on drums. And as you can see, he's doing a lot of stuff with his right foot, the bass drum foot, and on the snare. And he's doing the hits that the keyboard player kind of signaled to him. So they're working together and it sounds awesome. The foundation of a shout beat is the bass and snare. The bass is on every beat. Boom, 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 boom. The bass drum is the foundation. And so right now, if we're not fully playing a shout beat, we're gonna be going to be be going back and forth between the bass drum and the hi-hat. This is a slowed down video of what the shout beat sounds like before it starts to speed up. So we're just going to be going back and forth between the bass drum and the hi-hat. Take your time and play this slow so you understand the feel and so as it gets faster, it'll be easier. So the most important thing is to play this a lot because it's really fast and you want to build up the endurance that you need to be able to play this for a long period of time. It's important to count when you're playing these types of rhythms and when you are keeping time to help your brain understand what you need to be doing because you are doing several things when you're playing drums. Your right hand's doing one thing, your left hand's doing one thing. And this beat, there is a together with the right and left right there. So this beat that I'm doing is used to kind of build the shout. So I'm doing it really, really slow right now. So make sure you grab your sticks, try to play this and get this under your fingers and start using it in church. Okay, this is the ride pattern and I'm breaking it down. I'm doing it really slow but it's very important to get this ride pattern down because it's used so much in the beats for shout music. So think ride, snare, ride, ride, snare, ride, snare, Ride, ride, snare, over and over again. I want to briefly talk about the positions of the stick when you're playing the ride. This is the bell, right? And so there is um, a technique that you need to use to kind of get that extra, it's, it's like almost like a push with the, with the wrist. Bang, 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 ba, ba, right? Da, sh, da, da. So there is a there is a bit of a, a technique. So I suggest working uh, the wrist, bang, and uh, like push and pull it back. So you go, especially when you're playing it fast. Hopefully that helps. It takes some time to develop, but uh, just keep working on it and you'll get it. So here is the sped up version of how it would sound like if you're playing it in actual church service. And so you see the ride pattern and the snare and the bass drum are all working together. We'll dive into some of the fills a little bit later, but the foundation is the ride, the snare, and the bass drum. So if you remember the beat we went over earlier in this video where I was going back and forth between the bass drum and the hi-hat, that's essentially what I'm doing right here and I'm adding in the floor tom 
So if you need help playing this, go back and watch the beginning of the video and I go over this beat really slowly. I call this the windshield wiper. I'm going back and forth with my right hand between the hi-hat and the floor tom. And then with my left hand, I'm going between the snare and the mounted tom. So this is a cool rhythm to incorporate into the shout beat and uh, to kind of help move forward the music. So you'll see me start and stop a shout beat um, a lot in this video, and I do that kind of just to test myself to make sure I can just jump into it whenever, whenever needed. And uh, it takes time to learn how to properly navigate uh, a shout beat or a praise break because there are a lot of parts to it, um, and there's kind of like unspoken rules that no one really talks about, but um, through like eye signals and. You know, just listening, you learn like how the music, how to navigate the music. So, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm gonna show some more examples. Feel free to ask me questions or comments. I also give lessons, so if you wanna have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, look at some of these rhythms, uh, feel free to call or text me, and we'll get something set up. So in my head, I'm kind of playing through if I was playing with a group, a uh, bass player, organ player. And so right now I'm thinking like, I drop down as if the preacher was speaking and uh, I'm slowly building it back up to hop back into the shout. So that's kind of like, um, kind of how it is. And like I said, it takes time to develop and to learn how to navigate this music. So I suggest listening to it, listen to gospel music, listen to shout breaks. Uh, watch what goes on on a, on a Sunday and how you know people interact and how they interact to the music and what the tambourine player is doing and, and people shouting. It's all part of it and learning the style and, and this music. Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, like I mentioned, if you have any questions, comment down below. I hope you all have a wonderful, amazing day. God bless.
Hi, my name is Camelia Akami Keys, and I'm playing the Tama Star Babinga drum set. This drum kit sounds amazing. It looks amazing. It was handmade in Japan, and it really just sets itself apart from any other drum set on the market. Toms speak so well. These drums have uh, expression, they have voice. There is personality to this kit. Music is the universal language, and I quickly learned that while I was serving in the United States Navy. We could not speak the same language, but put a smile on someone's face by playing the drums. I make music to spread joy.